Uh, I call now on Simon Ateba, our friend from Africa News Today. Simon, unmute yourself and please go ahead. Okay, thank you for taking my question. My name is Simon Ateba from Today News Africa in Washington, D.C. Uh, as the number of cases in Africa continues to increase, we have like 400,000 people who have been infected so far and over 10,000 fatalities have been recorded. We are beginning to see many people claiming that they have a way of curing the disease. For instance, on Monday, a very popular pastor in Nigeria, T.B. Joshua, released a video of a medical doctor in Cameroon who was, who was said to have been cured of the virus through prayers. I was wondering, in the context of infodemics, uh, how does WHO react to this influx of information coming from pastors and from people who are not maybe in the uh, medical field? Thank you. And certainly, uh, uh, spiritual leadership at a time like this is very important in communities, uh, whatever the, the faith. And therefore, we respect and have worked very closely with faith-based organizations on the huge contribution they are and can make to managing anxieties at community level, providing direct support to communities coping with this disease, dealing with bereaved families and individuals. So the role that faith-based organizations play is very important. They also play a very important role in getting good information to people. Sometimes it's projected as, uh, as a route of misinformation. In fact, we find that faith-based organizations are a very effective way of passing good information because faith-based organizations are very often trusted by communities. They're a different channel, and we're working very, very closely uh, with those organizations uh, around the world. In fact, uh, this week at our, uh, the pre-conference on the WHO Infodemiology Conference, I think we had uh, over more than 10,000 connections. Uh, to, that, uh, to that conference. Uh, in, in fact, uh, I think today on the research side we have 1,000 connections into that. So you can see there's a massive hunger and there's a massive commitment to the positive management of information around this pandemic. And we're working very hard with our partners in the tech industry, our partners in the communications and social sciences and other UN organizations to, to do that. So faith-based organizations are a very important part of, of this response. I, I would like to add um, from uh, on this issue. Um, I remember uh, this is during the HIV AIDS era at its peak. Um, and we you know, started using medicines and some patients were using some medicines and there was same situation like what we're seeing now, uh, where people were forced to choose between uh, the medicine and phase. And I remember religious leaders, we discussed with religious leaders, and religious leaders going to their followers saying, the two can go together. Have your phase, continue to take your medicine. That's what we advise you. And that really resolved the situation. And we know, as what Mike said, many religious leaders who would really advise their followers to follow their faith, but at the same time use signs. The two do not contradict. They go together. So that's our advice. And we would call on all religious leaders to be in this in this fight and save lives thank you